Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, just here really because, and you may or may not have seen videos where I've said about this, so pardon um, me if I'm kind of repeating myself, but just want to kind of get some um, videos kind of done and in the bag so that over the summer whilst I'm kind of busy and we're going to be away for a little while, I've got, um, you know, some videos ready to upload kind of so that I'm not neglecting my channel and kind of away from my channel for too long. So just really having a bit of a play um, and a bit of a craft with me, really. So, yeah, let's get started. So this is a journal that I thought I would kind of do, which is an altered book journal. And basically, it's kind of styled on the um, uh, travel journal that I did for my own trip that we're going on this summer. So again, hopefully I have uploaded that video before this, but it may be that I haven't, in which case, you know, that would just mean nothing to you. Um, but if I have, then you'll kind of see what I mean. Basically, that journal I kept quite simple. I just kind of painted over the pages roughly and I went with a kind of kids book theme but I left loads of room for journaling I didn't kind of have lots of lace and things like that going on the embellishments were pretty simple so that kind of anybody could just pick the book up and you know just journal in it instead of kind of feeling a little bit overwhelmed from all the decoration so that's what I thought I would do with this so Obviously, this is the book, which I've kind of already altered in that, you know, I've started sticking the pages together in the way that I would like them. I've left some, obviously, as page pockets and some that are not. And then I've really roughly painted over them and I've painted some in this kind of stone ivory type of colour, um, which is very neutral and then I've painted some others in this gorgeous well it's actually two different shades of green didn't work quite so well on this page but certainly here you can really see it hopefully so there's a kind of much more mm, turquoisey sea green and a kind of pea kind of green and I just literally have kind of mixed them in together just roughly painting onto the pages now, I know that obviously at the moment, this journal just looks a complete and utter mess. And, you know, <laughs> if you haven't watched my videos before, you might be thinking, oh my gosh, she's made a mess of that book. Um, but hopefully, and I'm not saying it's it's not going to just stay looking that way, but hopefully we're going to kind of turn it around and make it into a beautiful kind of, um, you know, keepsake journal that somebody would be proud to kind of own. <laughs> so that's the plan. Um, so that was kind of the book. And then, again, feeling kind of inspired by the book, uh, the kids' book pages, I'm just using this book that I picked up absolutely yonks ago. It's It says a golden pleasure book. I've not really heard of those before. Um, and it's called Spring Tales. I don't think I could find any kind of copyright date on it. I mean, it feels to me and looks to me pretty old, but... You know, I don't know how old. I mean, I'm kind of thinking 70s. Um, but full of those beautiful, brightly coloured, you know, fun images that they tended to have kind of back in the 70s. So what I've done is I've torn out a few of the pages that I thought had the particularly nice, particularly colourful pictures. And then I went through my stash of scrapbook papers and came up with some papers that I thought would look really cute in the journal. So I've picked out this green, which obviously, you know, goes pretty well with the green of the paints and also with lots of the images from the book. <clears throat> so that's the green ones. And then I also picked out this one, Oops. which, I mean, obviously these are double-sided papers. I wouldn't personally use this side for this particular journal but I did really like this side I thought it was super cute with the orange and the yellow hearts and obviously again I just thought it looked really lovely with the book pages so just for a really nice bright fun colorful you know um yeah kind of happy feeling journal 
Um, now this is double sided also, so the back of this is this kind of pink floral. So to be honest, you know, it may be that we can use the pink side on some of the pages. Um, I had kind of been swaying towards the green, but you know, we may we may mix it up a bit and use some of the pink sides as well. We'll just kind of see how we feel as the journal comes together. And then, as I say, I've just torn out a few of the images from the book that I thought were particularly cute, particularly colourful, you know, particularly fun that I just thought, you know, oh, I'd like to use those in here. So, pop those kind of to one side for a moment and we'll just get cracking just, you know, randomly in the journal. Now, if you have watched my channel before, <laughs> You may be familiar with my very random style. I don't tend to kind of work, you know, um, in any sort of order, kind of one page at, you know, at a time going through an order. I do obviously work one page to a, you know, at a time. But I tend to kind of just randomly pick a page that I fancy working on. So I've just kind of opened the book here and thought, let's, let's do that page. So I've got this little piece here. Now what I did in my journal that I'm going to be using for my holiday was I just kind of stuck images on and then I kind of just fussy tore around the images. So rather than having a square kind of piece, I just kind of tore it very roughly. And I quite liked how that turned out in that journal. So I thought we'd try that on this. And what I've also brought along for a bit of inking up, should we fancy it, is this Distress Ink, which is Pine Needles. So again, I've had this in my stash for a long time, but I haven't used it very much because actually it didn't really resemble the color I thought it would. I mean, it kind of looks mm, kind of bottly green, quite dark here, but it actually is quite a bright green. So hopefully the camera is picking this up. I've just inked the corner of this paper just to kind of see what I thought to it. I thought it looked quite good against the greens that I've painted. Um, yeah, I just thought and it might be quite nice to add a bit of interest with that ink. So, and I can show you just quickly, you know, on a piece of white card, so you just see what it looks like on the white card. And actually on the white card, it does look a lot more similar. Well, not that similar actually. I was going to say to the the image on the front but definitely it's kind of a brighter green than I thought when I bought it but gorgeous gorgeous color green I think so that's what I thought we'd do now I also just want to mention and I hope I don't get in trouble for doing this but I just want to say I have found it a bit of um, difficulty trying to get hold of the Tim Holtz replacement ink pads for this round blending tool so I have now ordered some from Amazon, but unfortunately they are coming from the USA. Um, so they are going to take a little while to get here, kind of a month to get here. So when I obviously bought this, it came with a couple of ink pads and I had been using those. They have obviously had it now. So in the interim, I thought, oh, I'm going to try the Woodware Blend It ink pads. And I can't remember how many you got in a pack, but a few, you know, maybe 12, something like that. And when they first arrived, they looked pretty similar to the Tim Holtz and I thought, great. So obviously popped that on, um, you know, and, uh, you know, thought, brilliant, this will be a better, better alternative because obviously, you know, they're in the UK and, you know, they I, were on Prime, so I got them the next day and things. Fitted perfectly on the blending tool. Not impressed, however. <laughs> this one... I have only used for literally, you know, a day or two and it's literally disintegrated kind of around the edges. So the actual pad itself, as you can see, is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So I just wanted to quickly say, you know, I wouldn't recommend those Woodware Blend It ink pad tool blenders sponge things. Um, Maybe they would work really well with the Woodware inks. I don't know. I obviously have only been using them with the Distress Ink. 
so you know I don't know but my personal kind of experience of them wasn't great so you know as I say I have now ordered the Tim Holtz ones but I've just got to wait about a month before they arrive um anyway moving on I've put a new one on we'll see kind of how that goes throughout this video so what I'm going to do first of all is just literally glue this cute little image oh I've had my um glue actually with the stick pin stuck in it so I thought it would just be you know oozing out but no doesn't appear to be right <clears throat> just grab that and just pop it on here right and then what I thought was obviously just doing what I kind of did with the travel one that I made kind of you know for my trip just literally tear around like that which I just think looks really cute and I think that that random shape goes really nicely with the I'm just checking I'm in frame with the kind of um kiddie type images so let's just pop on a bit of this lovely green around the edges I mean that is a pretty colour isn't it and actually it's kind of going onto the book page a bit which is really nice too so um, there we go really cute and I just thought we'd glue him down just in the corner as a kind of corner tuck spot so, you know, super simple, but really cute. So take that, pop that just down there like that. Okay. Now, as I say, I am going to try and leave this with lots of room for journaling, um, as with kind of the one that I made for myself. So normally it's very tempting. I had bought along a few pages from that lovely, you know, uh, Master Builders Federation book that I've used before. I bought along some pages of that and it is very tempting to kind of get fussy and busy and, you know, sticking gorgeous things in. But I'm going to try my very best, um, you know, to begin with at least, to not overdo the kind of decoration. Now, I did bring along, however, having said that, these, um, which again, I've had these in my stash for ages, just some little pieces from k and Co. Had them for a long time. And I just pulled out one or two of the kind of bits and bobs. Obviously, I have used quite a lot of these over the time. Love the tickets. Obviously, struggling now to use them because I have used the other strip. I think there were like two of each piece. Um, or maybe three of each piece, but I have used the others. So this is my final piece now. So obviously I'm now kind of um, hoarding that a little bit. So I don't know whether I can actually spare any of that on this journal, but having said that, it did have this, which I'm assuming this is supposed to be some sort of kind of tape measure. And also had this one, which obviously looks more like a conventional tape measure really like it and thought it went really nicely with the book page images so i might just kind of pop some bits of this kind of around um you know just randomly in places on the book so i'm just going to kind of cut that like a banner like that <clears throat> And we could just kind of have that there, like that, or, you know, or actually we could have it over on the other page, so the other page has got a bit of interest too. Now, what I also did was brought along, obviously, my little trusty tin that I do love, and I've just topped it up with some more bits and bobs now. So I'll just move this out of the way. So I've topped it up with some more flowers. So... I just again picked up a few things that I thought would go with the colours 
from the children's book. So obviously that pink kind of goes quite nicely. And I also picked up the orange. Um, I don't know whether the orange is going to go or not, but actually it looks quite cute. So we could kind of do that. Let's see what else I might have in here. And I've also got some little Martha Stewart butterflies. So what we could do is kind of see how one of those looks a bit inked up around the edge with the green. So, I mean, that's quite nice, isn't it? You could have a little flower over there, maybe. And actually, I mean, this one's really kind of the type of thing that would look cute with buttons. Um, love using buttons in the uh, book page, you know, the children's book page type journals. I think they're really cute. For some reason, to me, they just... They're kind of made for that, aren't they? So, I mean, I quite like that like that. I don't know what everyone else thinks. Obviously, for me, this is a struggle to keep the pages so plain. Um, but as I say, I'm doing it purely because for my travel journal, I wanted one that was quite plain. I wanted one that wasn't kind of overwhelming when you turned the page, but much more simple in that it had lots and lots of blank space on the pages. And I just thought that maybe, you know, we could kind of do that. And who knows, maybe I'll actually eventually kind of get better at making kind of plainer ones. I'm just tearing this green doily piece. You know, maybe eventually I'll kind of get to a point where it's almost kind of like okay to my eye to just leave things plainer. Um, but obviously at the moment, that's a bit of a struggle for me. So, I mean, I quite like just that, really. So, I might just pop that green doily piece down. Now, I talked a little while ago about the glue sticks and how, you know, I haven't used glue stick for, like, years and years because I never really found them very effective. I haven't used one for years. They may well have really improved. Who knows? Um, you know, maybe it's time that I give one a go again. I have to say, the doilies, that's where they would really come into their own, I think, because, um, you know, obviously the doilies with the wet glue, they're not that easy to stick. So I can see the glue stick would be really handy there. So maybe it's time that I just do give a glue stick a go again. So I'm going to glue the tape measure down. I just stick it right along like that. <clears throat> you know, I mean, I just think that looks really nice. And, you know, if you want something then with lots of room for journaling, then, you know, that's just kind of ideal, isn't it? Now, I did bring along another stash of my buttons. These are, again, all vintage buttons. These are the ones that I bought more recently after I'd talked about I mustn't buy buttons anymore. You know, and then I went and bought a load more. So these are them. Um, they've all been washed and what have you, and they're now in here. So gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous buttons. A whole great big selection. But a lot of these tend to be much more colourful than, you know, my other stash of vintage buttons, which are kept... You know, I generally keep in that lovely bag that was gifted to me from Laura. So I just kind of um, brought these along because I thought actually this one contains quite a lot of nice coloured buttons, you know, that might go nicely. Oops, I've got some diamond trim there. Um, might go nicely with this kind of children's book themed journal. So... You know, we're just kind of having a look, really. And I'm just grabbing out any that I think might be quite nice in this book. So, just grab out a few. Okay. So, I don't know now what I've done with that pink flower. It seems to have disappeared. It might be now stuck on the button box. So, luckily I have 
an abundance of flowers here with me. <laughs> so I can just pull another one in. So we could have that one there. And we could have the dark pink. Mm. I mean, I just really love using colour. And, you know, a lot of journals, obviously, that we tend to make kind of tend to be, you know, the vintagey ones and the kind of... And they are beautiful. I am not in any way, you know, kind of detracting from them. But I, all my life, have always been kind of attracted to colour so for me oh I the yeah, only excuse to use colour it's like um yeah I don't really need an excuse it's kind of oh great colour you know so um yeah I really kind of enjoy using colour in projects and particularly when I use the kids book the children's book pages because they just literally are crying out for colour, aren't they? And um, just checking how that would look. So I'm going to go with that orange flower. And I'm just using the hot glue for the flowers just because um, we might be able to achieve a little bit more if I kind of use the blue rather than the wet glue. So I quite like that button in there. Glue that in again with the uh, hot glue. Like that. Yeah, so I love using the kids' books um, images because they are obviously so colourful and nice. So being able to use kind of bits of colour is just just lovely for me. I really uh, really love it. Now I did also, having said I wasn't going to use any lace. But it did, just in case I changed my mind, bring along some pink lace. Oh gosh, look at that against green, I love it. Um, and I also brought this lace along. Now this one, I actually can't remember where I got this. Um, I can't remember, but I've had it for a really long time. This one here, I actually cut off of um, a vest. So it's literally, I've got a few strands that, you know, that I've cut off so and that one there so I just literally obviously it was kind of a double lace and it was glued on uh, stitched on and I just obviously cut it off which you know because obviously I would hate to actually just throw things away but I just thought I'd bring them along and see whether they would kind of look good with the journal so I rather like this one so I don't want to get fussy with the lace because, you know, I am going to try and stick to my plan of not bulking the journal out too much, you know, really, really going to try. But what I did wonder about doing is just having little tiny weeny bits that we can just kind of literally pop on like that. So it really isn't bulking it out at all, but it just adds a little something to the edge of the page. So I will go with that butterfly because that looks cute. We'll just pop that on there. <clears throat> and then this, I will, I think, wet glue this. I just glue it randomly around. So it's kind of fixed quite well on the page. Let's stick that like that. And then this button, I just thought looked cute on there. So we'll pop that on as well. But I'll use obviously the hot glue for that. There we go. Just get those big blobs out because uh, I don't mind them sometimes, but they seemed exceptionally big that were poking through the holes of the button. So. You know, quite a simple page, but really cute. And but yeah, I just really like it. So I hope that that you will really like it um, as well. So, oops, I need to um, add a little bit more glue. And obviously I've forgotten that I've kind of glued that. And I'll just um, pinch that on with a clip here. Okay. So we can then go over and do another page. I'll just check what the time is. 24 minutes. Oh, we did that pretty quickly. 
something to be said for um, less fussy pages, isn't there? So, pulling the items back in again. This one I thought was rather nice and obviously I thought would make... Oh, just deciding which colour it would look better on. Let's see, I do I like it on the pink, funnily enough. Um, so we'll just pop these to one side for a moment. I thought would make a really great... Um, kind of belly band so now this paper obviously was kind of um you know torn very roughly so what I'm going to do is just neaten it up at the side oh I hope I'm in frame I had a um video or I did, I've done a video a few weeks ago and I don't very often watch my videos back. I kind of tend to just watch a little bit and skip through, watch a little bit, skip through, because obviously I don't really want to sit and watch myself crafting. Um, and then when I'd kind of uploaded it, I just kind of looked at something in it and actually I was completely out of frame. So I must apologize. I obviously had not realized that at all. So as I say, I mean, actually, I'm standing up now just to check that I'm in frame. It looks good. It looks like it is in frame. So fingers crossed we're okay. But, yeah, I'm trying to kind of kneel up on the seat. But obviously, you know, I have to keep on changing legs and things. So, um, yeah, that's that. Right, I'm just going to see what that green ink looks like on this pink. To decide whether or not to ink up around the pink. What do you think? You see, twink or not twink? That's the question. I think probably twink. Um, now, obviously this has got this corner missing. I don't mind that, personally. I think that's kind of fun. At the bottom, obviously, we need to do something about this. So, it's a case of, you know, what to do. So, actually, I did bring along a decorative edge punch which I don't very often use, um, you know, I don't use it very often. Not for any particular reason, I do actually quite like it, but I just don't seem to use it that often. Um, and I think sometimes, obviously, I don't use it because if you've got the decorative edge, you can't necessarily use that as a pocket. But what we could do is decorative edge just down the bottom. So this one is an X cut, it's leafy, leap, leafy lace. So I'll just move the book to one side just kind of punch along like that oh, again I can't really see because I've got the lamp there right in the way so uh, <laughs> that was a bit of a wing and a prayer that one right let's get rid of those bits so maybe that would look quite kind of nice <clears throat> that's quite nice isn't it then we could have a piece of doily there and again I must be rigid with my not taking up every single inch of space on the page with decoration so you know kind of might just predominantly decorate on top of this paper and then really kind of maybe try and leave this blank now whether or not I can manage that I'm not sure so what we'll do, we'll just ink around the edges of this. Yes, I don't know whether it's because it's the summer and obviously it's, you know, it's really nice and warm and everyone's got their bright, colourful clothes on. But I'm really just enjoying using colour at the moment, um, you know, with things. So, yeah, it's kind of nice to do these more colourful journals I think sometimes I'm actually a bit worried that I've actually spoiled that by inking around that because exactly in contrast to what I was just saying it now looks a little bit drab um, having inked it up let me just pull that in yeah definitely 
So actually, I don't like that inked now. So what we might have to do is go with the green side after all. Because um, then it doesn't really matter that we've obviously inked up that pink side. So we could have it there or we could actually have it on this side now. Just because I feel that torn bit shouldn't really be on the edge. It probably makes no difference at all. But, but what I will do, because I did really like the inking on the green. So I think what we'll do is ink up the green edge. Yes, I'm going to try not to do this journal as a kind of series as such. And so, you know, it may be that I will come back and do some other craft with me's in this journal or, you know, I might just complete it in kind of slower time, you know, my, myself. I'm not really too sure yet, um, but I just thought we'd come and have a bit of a play today, you know, and do some bits and bobs on here just today. <clears throat> So we could have it kind of like something like that and just put in some flowers maybe. Now that has got quite a bit of orange, obviously around by the dog. So we could, we could have some orange going on around there, that might be kind of sweet. Just going to straighten this edge because that didn't look all that straight to me. Slightly better. I did quite like the pink to Willie there. Just see whether we could have any of this measure tape anywhere. Oh, that's quite nice just on the facing page, isn't it? edge or I guess we could have it on this edge it's kind of fun isn't it so I think what we'll do we'll glue the um, pink piece of doily down obviously this one is just kind of an off cut piece where I've used this pink doily on something else and just cut it you know so it's now a kind of corner piece so um, we're just, you know, using that and then we'll just pop this, just move that round slightly. Yes, I'm kind of on a bit of a mission here trying to, I mean, I say use up my stash. I mean, I don't know about all of you, but there's so much stuff in my stash, to be honest. I probably actually never, ever, ever get through it because um, there's just so much of it. But I'm certainly trying to use, you know, a few things that I haven't obviously used for a while. So, hence, obviously, these little die cut pieces and things you know I just kind of thought let's try and use some of those bits and bobs that just kind of never see the light of day really and um you know we've talked about this before but why why we feel compelled to actually hoard things in the first place is just beyond me I'm not quite sure what that's about but so I also brought these along I think these are called those e e epoxy stickers epoxy stickers 
they're those kind of raised um you know really lovely feeling stickers which again i i haven't done for a long time but i always used to buy these and then actually kind of i don't really tend to use them so um i just bought these along just because i thought one or two of the pink ones maybe would go okay in this journal so um you know just just for yeah just wondering really so i mean this one here and again i've had these for a really long time so they although they are still sticky i would not trust that and i would obviously you know stick them with glue as well but i love how that pink looks on the green just looks really 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 nice so um Again, having said, not going to use any lace. Just going to cut another piece of that gathered lace. But if I cut, you see the top off, it's no longer gathered. And so it's not really bulking it out too much at all. I just kind of thought maybe we could have that there. Cute, isn't it? And then on this side, I'd quite like to use this little um, epoxy sticker now because I think it's quite pretty. So what I'll do is glue this down here. We just have it as a kind of pocket and actually I'm just going to dab some glue on that um, you know punched out piece just in case it's a bit delicate I want this kind of nice up close to the edge so I'll just kind of butt that up like that just really rambling so I hope that you could actually hear what I was saying I just was kind of butting it up against the edge, basically, just so it didn't have kind of a great big piece of book page there still showing. And actually that lace, I'm sure, must be dry now. So I'll just, just pop this clip on here. Just while that kind of glues down. <clears throat> and then we'll have this piece of lace obviously up there. So I'll just put that up there in case I forget. And then we could just have kind of, you know, maybe even just kind of here, maybe kind of in the top corner or something. I quite liked it actually there, strangely. So what I'll do, I'll just cut here. And again, I'll just cut it roughly in a kind of banner shape. And I think that's quite, quite nice like that. Just try and remember whether that was a pocket page. So it was. So what we could actually do is just, I was going to say staple it, but I'm not sure the staple will go through the epoxy stickers um, because they are actually quite thick. So it might not. So I think we'll just glue those just to be on the safe side. Now, do we want them higher or do we want them lower or in the middle? I don't know about you, but I often find that I tend to neglect the middle and always go for the bottom or the top. But actually, I think that looks quite nice in the middle. So I think for once I'm going to actually glue it in the actual middle. So I'm just going to pop my glue on there. And then what I'll do is just glue a little dab there. Like that. Okay, just press that down. Super cute, very, very cute. So that's that. And then up here, see if that's now held fast. Hopefully it is. And not stuck onto the other page. So I'm just going to um, hold it down here at the side as well, just because I noticed that didn't seem to have glued very well. Because this paper, actually, I had coffee dyed this paper. So although I did iron it, you know, I've coffee dyed it and ironed it. If you can see, it's slightly wavy now from the coffee dyeing. So that's why it's obviously slightly more tricky to glue it on now. So, um, you know, that's why I'm kind of holding it with the bulldog clip really 
if it had not been coffee dyed, it obviously wouldn't have that wavy kind of um, effect going on and it would have obviously just glued, you know, straight away. So there we go. Just pop that piece there. And again, I will just actually apply the glue to the lace. Just kind of random blobs. And just kind of stick that like that. I mean, I just think that looks really, um, really cute. So, you know, nice and colourful, cheerful, happy looking page. So, you know, we could put some other bits on. We could put a little flower. We could actually put the flower kind of up on the lace. Maybe up here. Could always have a couple of flowers. Uh, let's not be stingy. Let's let's have a couple. Oops, glue's kind of hanging off of the glue gun a bit, so just get rid of that. And then we'll just have this one down here. Okay, so again, another just really simple but really cute page, I think. Loving these colours together. Wow, they are just so vibrant and so pretty. So I'm just going to literally kind of clip that just because, you know, why not? Why wouldn't you kind of clip it? If you're not working on the page, you might as well just have it clipped just while it's drying. So... That. Just checking that that one's glued nicely. Yep. Yeah. So we'll go over, <clears throat> and obviously we have more green pages, which are gorgeous. Now this one, I have done this one like this. I watched um, one of Gail's videos, and she did her altered books, and I, she actually did every third page. I think it was with a kind of, I think she called it just a special page, you know, um, with a folded over piece. So I thought, brilliant, I'm going to try that. I obviously then forgot that and painted what is actually going to be glued here. So that was kind of my error. Um, but I then wondered whether I should have it this way round or this way round. It probably doesn't really matter. But what I wondered about doing was, oh, and also, sorry, I forgot to say, I did also bring this paper along because I also thought this obviously went nicely with all of the you know the colourful book page bits so you know that looks pretty doesn't it so I bought that along so what I wondered about doing is obviously just covering this triangle in some scrapbook paper and then obviously gluing it down onto the page so what does everyone think to that? So I think that would look really nice. Um, so what I'll do is just literally glue along here, down here, and across here. And I just put a bit of glue in the middle just so it's got plenty there. We don't want it kind of coming up. And then literally pop that on there like that now. now this is where I'm going to obviously make a horrible job of doing this because I'm obviously now filming it is obviously not going to go very nicely and um, yeah I'm going to make it look horrible so fingers crossed that that doesn't happen, but I have already got that horrible sinking feeling. So uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Right. 
Now I probably could have done this with a craft knife. Unfortunately, I haven't really got a craft knife with a very sharp blade on this at the moment. So um, I will just use my scissors. And obviously, again, I am not at a very good angle. Um, you know, so really not not great, but but it looks okay actually. Could have been a lot worse, and I feared for a moment that it was going to be a lot worse. So that looks kind of cute. And I did wonder whether we could punch, you know, the thumb hole. But I'm not sure whether that would just look odd. Maybe, maybe it would look odd. So perhaps we won't. Um, I just kind of had this sudden, oh, should we do a thumb hole? So what I'm gonna do here, obviously I hope that this actually glues down nicely is let's have a think mm, right we're going to glue this page down so i'm just going to glue it around the edges like that and like that and actually i will just pop a bit of glue here just kind of um you know to make it extra secure so glue it on like that move the board up clip now so you don't have kind of lumps and bumps at the side. Okay. And then I think what we'll do is for the triangle here, we're just going to glue it here so that it will be hopefully a kind of bottom loading pocket. So I just run the glue along there and we'll just stick it down like that. And hopefully that's all going to work really nicely. I'm just holding that down. What I'll do is actually put a book, I think, on there, just to kind of weigh that down for a moment. What <clears throat> while we have a look and see Oh, I'm just going to um, stand up and kind of check that I'm still in frame. Yep. Okay. Swap my legs round so that I'm kneeling on the other one now. Right. Let's have a look and see what else we've bought with us for decorating. So, obviously I have a bit of a matchy-matchy kind of obsession so I'm kind of thinking it would be nice to have something on this facing page in this same paper. So I'm kind of thinking maybe just a little kind of um, corner tuck down here in this corner would be kind of fun. So let's have a look. This has got a kind of rhyme here. Um, which is quite nice, isn't it? Uh, right, what we do, I think we'll tear this down. So we make it a bit smaller, but not completely, because it would be nice to keep the rhyme. Like that. Now, what we'll do is we'll just trim it down the side, because it's not very straight. And then we'll just trim it here, like that. Just a bit more. I just love all these um, colours together. I mean, I know I've said that numerous times now, this video, and I'm just now really probably becoming really annoying saying how much I love them together but I really do they just look so pretty don't they it's uh, so nice to see such bright colors all all kind of together like that all right oops I just knocked the lamp so I might, now, might now be in the dark right okay so I mean I think that's really sweet 
So what I'll do, I'll just glue this onto the paper. Now I must try and remember my goal for this was to not cover up every single little space. It's to leave lots of journaling space. So I must try and remember that. Um, okay. So again, we could have a tiny piece of doily. Let's see if I've got any more of the kind of corner of that pink one. I think there were two corners, but maybe not. Although I did think I knocked something on the floor earlier under the desk. I'll just see. Oh no, that was some green. I've just got the rest of that green that I tore. So um, just tear that piece for a minute. Then that does cover up that rhyme that I said, let's not cover up the rhyme. Could actually have it kind of here actually. Kind of nice there isn't it <clears throat> and again I've obviously got lots of different flowers and you know the buttons and things with me so we just kind of see you know what might look quite nice with this obviously got another one of those butterflies could have that somewhere it's actually quite a struggle for me to um, not be decorating every single inch of the page. So this is kind of like a big challenge video really for me, how to kind of not, not go mad with the embellishments and the decorating everywhere. It's, uh, yeah, quite tough. Tougher than I expected. Well, no, actually that's not true. I did think I would, would struggle. I thought it would be a bit of a tough one. So again, we could just ink up this butterfly a bit with that pretty green. Now obviously I haven't inked around this um, paper because obviously I didn't want to kind of make it look drab like I did with the pink. So I think maybe we'll just stick with inking up the, the green pages to be honest. You know, maybe they are the ones that look best. Okay, so let's glue this down. Now hopefully this piece should be okay because this piece hasn't been coffee dyed. So hopefully this has not got that wrinkly effect going on. That makes it kind of difficult for it to stick down. So I'll just kind of press it for two seconds like that. Now, obviously I kind of spotted this piece of paper and thought, ooh, I could fussy cut those flowers out. I'm not sure that I would make a very good job of fussy cutting that out because it is actually very small. So I'm just gonna have a go. Again, this might go horribly wrong and I'll wish I had not done this on camera because, uh, you know, really wants their mistakes constantly highlighted on camera but but sometimes when you're doing the video and you just go with what the mood takes you so you think oh actually I'm gonna try that and obviously then it all backfires and you just wish to goodness that you hadn't and it may just gonna be one of those moments now mm, it's not too bad not too bad so, um, I've really had that butterfly somewhere. <clears throat> now, also what I bought along actually, and again, I don't know quite the order that I'm going to be on uploading these videos because obviously I am doing them, you know, to upload whilst I'm busy in the summer. 
so it may be that this is before the other one maybe that it's after it but if you saw the journal that I did make for my trip um, I did also do a little stamped page of just tickets and some journaling spots onto this fabulous green card so I've just got the remainder that I didn't end up using in my journal that we could just kind of use in here a little bit so I will just ink that up a bit around the edge but that could be kind of cool it just adds that little something doesn't it and just um you know just something a bit kind of cute so just so we don't have to hang around waiting for it to dry i will just glue this with the hot glue like that and then i'm just going to glue that little button on just to the side of it there we go so you know trying to keep it simple trying not to go too mad with the embellishments but equally you know I do want to put some things on here because obviously otherwise to me it just looks really like it's missing things so I'll just have a look I mean we could look through and see if there's some other book images that we want to use on there um, although I did kind of lay them out roughly on the pages that I wanted them to go on what we could do is kind of bring the book back in. <clears throat> I mean, like that's quite cute, isn't it? it? Says it's the five little kings. So, I mean, what we could do is kind of tear this. Kind of place that along there with the flower just just adds a little something doesn't it and kind of you know stops it being a little bit boring I don't know now where that flower has disappeared to that I just fussy cut. It's um, it's now gone missing. So oh, there it is. Oops, just pop a bit of glue on here. You know that just looks. Um, I think you know really quite sweet. I don't want that. Do we want this? Do we not want this? Do we think that actually adds anything? Now I'm just going to try shutting it and make sure we're not bulking it out too much. Because as I say, I am kind of trying to challenge myself to not bulk the journal out too much. Who knows? Who knows whether that's going to go ahead? Probably by the next time you see this journal, you know, if we don't end up doing it as a kind of whole bunch of process videos, it'll probably be massive. You know, a humongous one. And um, I'll be disappointed in myself that I couldn't just not do that. Right, that doesn't bulk it out too much and I quite like that. So let's go with that. just glue this flower on just with the hot glue just again for for speed let me just pop that there okay 
Okay, so it's kind of coming together. Um, now we haven't done any of the plain, you know, the ivory-ish coloured pages yet. Uh, which let me look at the time. Oh my gosh, we're up to an hour already. So probably not going to get on and do those um, right now because, you know, really need to kind of let you all go. But I just do want to quickly have a look and see how things are going to look on there, whether I'm going to kind of like them as much as I like the colourful pages. It may be that I won't, in which case I might have to rethink those and repaint them. Um, you know, I mean, I had kind of intended him to go on this heart page because I thought that looked quite sweet. Um, got a little corner piece. I intended the image here to go on. Uh, hmm. Definitely for me, the green combination is a winning look. That to me, just wow. I love it. Really love those colours. Um, but, you know, not everyone loves bright colours. And obviously not everyone loves green, especially. But, um, yeah, for me, I really love that. Um but it might be that, to be honest, I mean, you wouldn't want a whole journal full of the green and the pink and the orange and things because it would be quite full on. So, I mean, actually, it may be that, although for me personally, you know, I look at that and now think, oh, it doesn't look half so nice as the green pages. You know, A, it's obviously not decorated yet. So if we popped some bits and bobs around, you know, perhaps it would then look quite nice anyway. Um, but also... Here I come again, back with that lace, you see. Um, but also, you know, do people really want to see every single page kind of in the green and the vibrant? It might be kind of nice to actually break it up and have a few plainer colours, you know, more uh, toned down kind of colours, maybe. Um, you know, so, yeah, perhaps we should still go with the... That's quite sweet, isn't it? So let's just cut that off here. Perhaps we should still go, mm, I quite like that kind of looking as if it's kind of attaching that. <clears throat> hmm. Right, quite like that. Um, oh, I wonder if we could just get away with doing another one. See, the problem is when I do these videos, it's very hard to kind of um, stop. Because as you're doing them, you kind of think, oh, I'll stop now. And then you kind of think, oh, we'll just do one more thing. Oops, we'll just do one more thing. Just do another thing. And before you know it, you've kind of windled away. Absolutely ages. Okay. And I realise, obviously, this is quite a big commitment on people's time to watch such lengthy videos. So, I mean, not everyone obviously wants to watch such long ones, do they? And that's kind of cool, isn't it? Hmm, I quite like that, I think. And we could obviously come to this page later so that I don't actually kind of get doing even more things than I, you know, I did just say, oh, I'm not going to take up all your time. Ah, oh, you see, now I'm just thinking, can we make a little banner? Because again, I am conscious of the whole mustn't go too mad, leave lots of room for journaling in this journal. So, you know, perhaps we could just have, just cut a bit of this, you know, leave kind of the facing page so it's pretty plain. Also, wondering which is the page that would be better to be decorated. This obviously has lots of text on it, and this one had the kind of diagrams. better that way around I think okay right let's just quickly go for that so we'll just glue him on to this page oops <clears throat> they're just such super fun images aren't they when they're from children's books they just look so cute so cute. 
and I've obviously got lots of children's books that I've picked up over the last few months so um, you know I really must stop hoarding them now and get using them so uh, that's why I thought right I'm gonna, going to uh, crack on and do this because it's obviously it is using something now the only thing is, if I do that, it can't be obviously a tuck spot. It could be a pocket. Um, hmm. Just trying to kind of have a bit of a think here whether kind of we could do anything else with this. Whether we could maybe have something kind of. Hmm. hmm. Just wondering whether we could have anything kind of folding round or. You know flipping out of it or anything like that but the problem is because these pages are kind of double-sided they don't necessarily have things on the back that you know lend themselves very much to journaling so mm. I, I did actually really like it kind of coming out like that I thought that was really fun well I guess we could just have it as a bit of a kind of collage on the page really and um you know you could always kind of journal around it couldn't you you know it's not kind of too too covered up if we put him a bit further down you know nearer the edge nearer the bottom is that better because there's proper journaling space up there then that, that's probably better isn't it and what i'll do i'll just glue him so he is a pocket that side if you wanted him as one you know, so not necessarily using him as a pocket, but just so he has got the potential to be a pocket. So I'll we'll just glue him like that. So I was talking to my sister about um, these process videos now got two sisters neither one sadly are crafters um my mum's not a crafter either so um yeah not a not a crafty family which you know is a is a shame I'm hoping that my daughter will be she quite likes fussy cutting already she's four um so who knows maybe I'll have a crafter in her um yes I was telling them or telling my my older sister about these videos and she was laughing and said oh it must be like um you know when you were younger you know when you were a child and you used to kind of play the cooking programs now I don't know whether anyone else did those but you know kind of where you pretend you were on a cooking program and um you know be pretending to cook on a program and I had to chuckle because actually they are a little bit like that and when she said it, I said oh it is a bit like that really because you're kind of um you know crafting on film it is a bit like kind of cooking on film so uh, I think she's horrified that you know anyone would find my chatter and things interesting to watch or entertaining or of use to watch so um, but yeah right that's on there just probably have that bit of lace just down there just to you know just try not to bulk it out too much but but the lace does kind of tie it in nicely to the other pages doesn't it oh we could have a little banner the banner obviously bulks it out best doesn't it <clears throat> Have like a doily piece on that side, maybe. With the um, the piece there. Actually, I'll just tear this pink one, just because obviously this is more pink. Um, well, it's orange really, but certainly more pink than than green. You know, and just see what that looks like if we were to have that. Oh, I'm not sure now. 
And this was me having said, oh, we won't do any more today. I must now stop it and um, let you all go. Just before, just before I do, I mean, I'm actually gasping for a cup of tea now as well. So uh, I will have to go in a moment before my voice goes completely. Because I'm getting very thirsty now. Could have the ticket. Kind of fun and actually obviously because we have now taken up a lot of journaling space on that page it does kind of give some back doesn't it so we'll just ink that green up a bit now these tags obviously um i'm not kind of putting brads or anything like that through them because i'm again trying trying not to bulk the book out so that's why I'm doing that. Now, I'm trying to remember if this is a pocket page, is it? No, it was a single, single page. So I was going to say we could staple those on. We will have then a staple on the other side of the page. I don't necessarily mind that. Um, I don't know whether anybody else would mind that. No, personally, I don't. I you know, I think that's okay. I'm now just trying to find my stapler. This is why I just shouldn't really deviate from from the plan. I should have just said enough's enough for today and um, stuck with that instead of now thinking, oh, we can cram in a little bit more. Let me just see. I've got my big stapler, even if I haven't got my tiny Tim Holtz one. Just rummaging through my bag that I bring for these process videos. No, I don't think I have. Right. So I have got my big stapler, although actually I don't, I don't really want that on the page. So what I'm going to do, I'll just glue these down. And then if I remember, I can always add a staple to them, you know, later. So we just pop them like that. That's cute, isn't it? And then up here, maybe just have those. And actually, I've got those epoxy stickers. Got this pink dot. Do you think that kind of tones at all? Hmm, not up there, does it? But weirdly, kind of maybe does down here. Oh, we'll leave that for today. We'll leave that for today. Um, Shall I just pop that up there? I wonder if I made a bigger corner with the pink, whether the pink would look better. Because I felt like the pink could have gone better with what's going on over here. Yeah, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? So I'm just going to tear this bit because this is um, slightly long now. Now this is where, this is what happened the other day when I then discovered I hadn't been in frame because I moved the book. So let's put the book back roughly where it was and then I'll pop that down like that. Right, okay, that's the plan now. So glue around there like that. Okay, and then this one. I'll just quickly glue there like that. Okay, right. And then I am going to really try my best not to add anything more to this page because I really did want to do a journal with lots of journaling. So I really am going to try not to add more. I mean, as you can see, there are one or two little splotches of the green paint. Again, personally, I don't mind that. Um, but I just want to point that out because obviously if I sell this journal, I just I want to point out kind of anything that, you know, other people may think is kind of a defect. I mean, they kind of are defects, I guess. But 
you know, they're not defects that really bother me. Um, so I just kind of want to point them out. So, right. <clears throat> so we've actually achieved quite a bit um, because we've done obviously this double page and this one here, this one here, and then that first one there. So quite happy with that. Um, as I say, I mean, it's not my intention to do this as a little series. Um, but who knows, <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll kind of um, decide to because, you know, sometimes if you're crafting anyway, you might as well come and craft, you know, on camera. The only thing is, obviously, it's not that convenient because it's not my kind of usual workspace. Um, but if not, I'll be kind of just working on this in slower time and we may come back and kind of do some together and then I'll do some kind of on my own, um, you know, or, you know, I may just kind of. Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I hope that you kind of had fun and it wasn't kind of too uh, tedious, you know, kind of it was a change for me, certainly a challenge kind of creating something less fussy, less busy, um, you know, leaving more space on the pages. Um, but, you know, I think they look really, really pretty. So I'm not disappointed with them. I love them how they are, um, you know. So anyway. Thanks very much for watching and have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.